welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, my garden's actually been pretty much done for a couple months. I do have some lettuce and greens that I'll show you here in a minute, but I had a change in household circumstance that uh, required all of my attention and it's continuing to require all of my attention. Um, it's not something that I can speak about publicly, but everybody's happy, healthy, nothing negative to report as far as my house is concerned. Uh, I just said I don't have as much me time. So that means I don't know what the 2022 growing season will look like. Um, I'm not going to place the expectation on myself to get out here and plant a full garden. Um, I'm just going to kind of see how it goes and if I get stuff planted and in the ground then yay I'll make content. If I don't, well, you might get an update kind of like this that's like, well, I tried. <laughs> um, today is the 26th of November. It's a Friday, um, Black Friday, 2021. I did not go shopping. Um, I really don't care. I'm just going to do online shopping this year. So uh, I have a couple things to show you. A lot of dead things and uh, things that I should have pulled out uh, and didn't and things that I still need to take care of and haven't. And I don't know if they will get taken care of, but let's go take a trip around the garden for the last time in 2021. So let's start over here at the potato patch. I have what looks to be a garlic that I had planted and it decided to sprout after I dug through there trying to look for the potatoes that I tried to grow. And uh, unless that's grass, which... No, it's definitely garlic. So we're just gonna leave that in there and uh, see what happens in the spring or you know July I don't know we're just gonna let it go and see how it goes this is number one it met its demise out here in the cold uh, it didn't love the basement it didn't have enough light and it was always really cold in the basement so it just kind of uh, I moved it out here and it did get another leaf after I moved it back out here but it's been too cold and I should probably move that into the garage so that it might sprout next year, but here we are. My clematis is finally taking a dive for the winter. We'll see how it comes back. My oregano and rosemary is doing pretty good. Looks like somebody trampled on my rosemary. That's okay, it's right by the driveway, that's what I get. I planted some new iris starts right there. So that side is like a peach color that is like a blue, bluish purple color that's really pretty. I'm excited to show you guys that when they bloom. And then one of these is purple, I think. And one might be a black color. I guess you have to check it out if I do a video in the spring. This came from my neighbor. She said the bees really like it. So I said, okay, I'll take some. And she said it multiplies a lot, so I might put that just kind of all over. And if you noticed this mess, I plan on turning everything that's covered with a tarp into a butterfly pollinator flower area. That's my art filled with leaves. So yeah, this whole corner hopefully will be flowers for pollinators next spring. See, I have all these plans, so I don't know if I'll be able to not do it, but we're going to find out. The bed that had my milkweed in it, that's the perennial. I should probably cut that back. This is the tropical milkweed. Um, it actually got a lot bigger than I was expecting it to get, but as you can see, pretty much everything over here is dead. The pepper bed, I literally just stopped coming out here. <laughs> All of these peppers could have been harvested and eaten, and now they've been frozen and thawed and frozen and thawed, and they don't like the cold, 
So yeah, this is a lot of wasted food, I'm ashamed to say. But at the opening of my video, I was talking about I didn't have time. So this is how much time you see that I didn't have. Kind of the same story over here with the tomatoes. There was still food on the vine. I need to come through and take all those ties down. There's a couple that are just, oh no, it's trash, it's squishy. Even the jungle is dying. Speaking of tomatoes though, um, I did actually hatch one of the tomato hornworms. Um, so I'm gonna throw that clip right in here. It's been a little chaotic for me the last few weeks, a couple weeks, and I kind of forgot about these guys. And this guy, hello has been in there for, I don't know how long, Ooh. I didn't even know if it can fly at this point because its wing is pretty torn up and it's winter, so there's no flowers. Um, but yeah, I guess this is what comes out of the tomato hornworm. Sorry, buddy. I forgot about you. Pretty, really pretty, though. Maybe there's some nectar left over here. There you go. Good luck. I totally shouldn't have tried to hatch them. Whoa, sun. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the summer. Ow. But, ooh, can't take it back now. And I still have five, I think, in the dirt. So maybe I'll catch them and make sure that they survive instead of accidentally killing them by keeping them in a small tub in my garage because I forgot about them. The real Cinderella story of my garden, the eggplant. Look at this. I actually grew two would have been edible eggplants. And I let them sit out here until they were no longer edible. What a shame. But. How cool that it actually worked. After all those flea beetles that I fought, I actually got some. So there's hope. Got some uh, dead marigolds after the pumpkin got taken out. That really just loved life and did its thing. And <sighs> it's just all a bunch of sadness now. At one point during the summer, I decided I was tired of walking back and forth from the shed over to here with tools and whatnot. So this paint bucket is my, you know, tools and gloves and uh, things that I don't have to walk all the way to the shed. So use what you got. Take a look at the compost. I stopped bringing stuff out here. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's like way down farther than I thought it would be. That's a biodegradable bag. Uh, but it was way, way up a lot higher when I put those cucumelons in there. That's how long it's been since I added to it, probably, since the cucumelons. Okay, and an update on the cold weather crops. Things actually grew. So that was kale. These are broccoli right there. Uh, those are probably weeds. Cilantro over here. Looks pretty good. Spinach in the middle, that right there between those two clumps of spinach, I think that's a weed. Radishes, I think, are over there. But look at this lettuce, y'all. Look at this. 
Look at her. Look at this. I am so impressed. Probably could be better if I had watered it or cared for it at all after I put this row cover thing on, but I didn't. And then my circumstances changed. And now we're to the point where we might need to harvest it or let it go like I did everything else. But yeah, that's a win, I think. And then this is mint. That's number two. And number three, I should get a shovel. I tried to just grab it with both hands and just pull it out of the ground. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> They're stronger than me. So I did not get that successfully removed from the ground. But I'm kind of hoping that since it's up close to the house, I have a little bit more time because the heat from the house might keep the ground a little more. I, I'm making excuses. I don't know. And that's it. A lot of death, a lot of sadness, a lot of work that I didn't do. Um, big plans up here for next year that might not get carried out. And uh, just a little unknown right now. So anyway, thanks for coming along on the ride with me. If you wanna see more, let me know. Give me a like, give me a follow, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. You'll see me next time.